Hello, hello, and welcome to uh, episode 9 of Elixir Drops. So today we are going to do a gen server, a long-awaited gen server. So I'm going to um, mimic rescue workers here. So if anybody else is familiar with um, processing jobs in Rails, it's rescue or sidekick. Um, I don't know what it actually is in Python, other languages, but uh, the idea being that you have this thing that has a queue of uh, jobs to, to do, and it does it over time. So uh, we're going to just get started here with the gen server start link. This is how we start up our gen server. We're going to name it to the module that we're using. Um, I like to just pass in an OK atom here, and uh, we're going to go ahead and name this as well. And, and the common, common pattern is to, to define a name at the upper scope. So we'll just call it my rescue, I guess. Uh, now def start link. This is uh, the way to think of these are these are like client functions. And they're going to call down into uh, server callbacks or uh, server functions. So um, this is going to, by default, call init. And uh, it's going to, we can match on that OK that we passed earlier. And uh, now we can start. So we're just going to return an empty list. That's uh, our list of jobs to process. And so let's uh, add a job. So if we add a job or add a worker to this uh, rescue, uh, we're going to pass in a function that we're going to run. And you'll see how that's going to work in a minute. So uh, we can use gen server cast here. Now this will work asynchronously. asynchronously. Uh, we're going to cast it to that gen server name we just created. And it's going to take a tuple where we say, uh, you know, we'll push this function onto the stack. And, um, and we can also go ahead while we're here, let's, let's go ahead and do the, the work one. So when we're ready to do the work, we're just going to call gen server call because we want it to happen right away. We want this to happen synchronously, and we're just going to say pop. Great. So, well, we have these um, commands here that we've passed in arguments where we're calling this gen server that we created by name, and we are giving it some arguments. So that's down in the server level. We have to handle those fu those functions, so or handle those arguments. So we can handle the first one by saying handle cast. We're going to expect push here, and the function being th passed in, and then state is going to be the second argument by default that you get from the gen server. I guess this is just convention for cast. I'm not, I'm not sure why I should, I should probably figure that out before I start these videos. And I'm going to append the function to the end of the list so that uh, when we pop things off the head, as we're about to do right now, uh, it will be the oldest first. So when we catch that pop atom that we saw earlier, uh, we don't care where this is from. This is like where it's being called from. We're going to pop the first one off the, off the stack or the, our list. And then we're going to have like a new state here now with the rest of them. And this time we are going to reply with that function. We're going to call it. You can do that with uh, func. Um, you can say dot parentheses. And then we're going to pass in our state. So if I did this correctly, we should have a gen server modeled after a rescue worker. Uh, so if we start this up, there's our PID. We can see actually that the, where is this my rescue we called it and I believe you'll get the same process ID great and we can go ahead and start working on this so if we add something to this so I don't know hello and there we go we have two workers in there if we want to go ahead and do work we'll say do work and it does the oldest one first and the one we just did now a popular thing in Elixir is to, with gen servers especially, is to have them run on a cadence, kind of like a cron job. So we will go ahead and do that. So in our init, uh, we want this thing to just process work, you know, maybe every five, a couple seconds. So we'll say uh, doing some work here. We're going to do a private method here. So we'll say pop a job. Pop a job off the queue and run it. Okay, so now we need to build this private function. So and we're going to say pop a job. And what does this do? So this this will do uh, every five seconds or every, I guess for this video, every three seconds. We're going to call ourselves uh, with the same process ID, self. We're going to call pop a job. So this calling this process pop a job here is going to just match here, pop a job. So we're going to call that function. And now we're going to call ourselves again. So this is the recursive bit. And we're just going to reply with that new state. Okay, now th there should be an edge case in case there are no jobs to process. So let's go ahead and build that now. Uh, you need to process it if there's no list, a no up. So you just keep calling it. And of course we need to reply with the empty state. 
like so. So now when we spin this up, uh, you're going to see that it's going to keep running in the background and it's going to uh, look for work to be done. So if we go ahead and add these to that, and let's add something a little more clever. Now these jobs are going to process one after the other uh, every three sec or every five seconds. So that's how you might add a uh, rescue worker style thing that will process jobs in a queue. This is a great way of using gen servers. And if, um, if you like that video, please uh, like or subscribe. I'll have the code up on GitHub. Thanks for watching.